I feel I need to preface this video by saying that, despite evidence to the contrary, both myself and Vanda are intelligent people. However, this is now the second unplanned village witch box the, that I've received. And uh, to be fair, um, I'm not taking the blame for this one. Uh, Vanda accidentally left the payments going for longer than was necessary to get the April box for my birthday. So I also got the May box and now the June box has arrived today. Hopefully this will be the last one. I do not blame Village Witch Box for this at all. This is this is purely user error. Uh, so some of this stuff may be making its way to Vanda as as compensation for this this second box. But here we go. This is this is June's Hocus Pocus hamper from the Village Witch, and I'm excited for it. Uh, after the disaster that was the Unicorn box, uh, hopefully this one is going to perk me up a little bit, and we'll see. What's inside? Ooh, I see gummies. I see tea. I see a magical bonfire, something or other. Let's have a look at the little piece of paper that comes with this. Today we are looking at the June box, which is the theme of solstice fires and summer dreaming. Oh, okay, so this is the first one I've had, I think, that hasn't been just like a one word or two word like theme, like love, good luck healing this actually has uh, a different stuff going on so i'm not going to look at the price list i'm just going to fish out my, my teas i've got a little collection of these now my haribos and a choco dipper which i don't think i've had one of these since blockbusters closed um so <laughs> that's going to be fun uh, and then we're going to dig around in here, unwrap everything without looking at it. Bad Sarah, no. Uh, and then we'll do a little tour. Actually, I'm contradicting myself. Let's look at the stuff that isn't unwrapped first. So this is Be Brave Magical Bonfire Mix. I love a bonfire. We have a, like a metal bonfire bin in the garden and I'm always excited when it fills up with like scraps of stuff and we get to actually burn it. This smells amazing. Mm. It has kind of like an orangey smell, which is really nice. Um, this is throw into a bonfire or mini fire in your cauldron with intent to cast your spell. Always use in a fireproof container. So if you have a cauldron, I would probably suggest using that outside, but um, you could use this in it. There's uh, quite a good amount in here. It's quite a shame that it's in like a plastic bag, uh, but this might be compostable. I don't know. It doesn't say that it is. This seems to have some citrus peel in there. It's probably where that orange smell's coming from. What look like juniper berries. I can't really identify any. Maybe some lemongrass, if that's what those like little green chunks are. That looks quite nice. Uh, we've also got this. This is a dream catcher made of lace in china okay let's get that one out of the bag here is the dream catcher i actually think this is really cute i like that it's not like native american themed like you know the ones i mean that have like the plastic beads and like fake feathers and stuff on them i used to actually have like a collection of dream catchers when i was a lot younger like 10 so this is quite uh, nostalgic for me. Might put that up. Have that like nice and cute. And here we have our little pot of incense. This is summer solstice incense. I'm gonna see if we can twist this open and have a little sniff. Why are they always so hard to open? Why are they so well done up? I'm sorry you can hear children screaming, but unless this box also contains chloroform, there's not a lot I can do about that. This also smells really lemony. I'm not sure if this is lemon zest in it, but it would make sense if it was. Got some interesting little nuggets of different resins and stuff in there. Can't identify most of it, but there's a definite lemon smell. Maybe some lemon balm, but I like that. That says summer to me, all the lovely citrus smells. 
and then it looks like there's some stuff under the, the wrapped up stuff that isn't wrapped in anything so let's dig that out and have a little look see okay so we've got a very foreshortened spell candle like this is the smallest spell candle i've ever seen in my life so diddy so cute and this is okay a dream catcher another one which is weird to have two of those um feather charm included dream catchers are believed to bless the sleeping ones with pleasant dreams good luck and harmony throughout their lives uh, again this this one is a lot more like native american themed i'm not sure how i feel about that because obviously there are questions of like cultural appropriation in that i feel like this is more just kind of decorative whereas this is sort of claiming spiritual powers and stuff i'm not sure i'm on board on that with i am i'm also not particularly like loving this item so put that to one side but we have all of our usual packets and pots and things to unswathe and get sniffing at so i'm gonna pop you down and go ham with the scissors all oh, those were well wrapped i always have to like very much go in on those uh, but here are our usual like bits and pieces so this is our salt and this is a uh, fiery wall of protection cleansing salt mix i am actually already have fiery wall of protection incense uh, from phoenix flames which uh, was in my which first midlands haul video so that will go quite well with that and this little bottles what do we have handmade sweet dreams ink Ooh, i'll see what color that is in a minute and we've got summer solstice oil and fire of love powder i'm not sure how i feel about the solstice theme to be honest because i don't tend to actually like mark the solstice i know that makes me a bad witch but as i said before i'm not a farmer so it doesn't really mean a huge amount to me and usually i just let it slip by without incident so um i'm not sure how much use i'll get out of like specific solstice themed things uh the spray we have is the sweet dreams aura spray this will hopefully be maybe an aid to sleep as well as like a magical thing because i've wanted a sleep spray for a while and i did order one but within like a week of me having it it grew all this like disgusting pondweed stuff in it which neither myself nor the manufacturer could explain so that had to go back unfortunately but um i do need a sleep spray and this should be floor wash fiery wall of protection floor wash so oh that's good because that means being able to like protect my space it looks like there's some maybe chilies in there maybe seed pods I'm not sure Ooh, gooey let's see what color this ink is i'm not sure how clear this will be but it's like a little purple dribble but it does seem to be almost entirely invisible when you actually move it about i did shake it quite thoroughly uh to get all the ingredients from the bottom to like mix up into it uh but it does seem to be quite a a light color which as you can see is basically invisible it does smell quite nice it has kind of like a, a deep kind of what is that smell what is that smell oh that reminds me so strongly of something ah you know when a smell reminds you of something and you can't quite sniff it enough to like remember what it is but it smells like something that i was near when i was a teenager i feel like it was maybe a face mask or something that's really weird but it has that kind of like very floral kind of like jasmine-y ylang ylang -y smell which is quite nice to be honest so that's lovely and uh, let's have a sniff of this spray which the lid has come off and i don't know where that's gone <laughs> mm. that has the same kind of smell but like lighter it's like a kind of fruity flowery smell which 
Oh, it really reminds me of, I think, like, something from, like, Boots Botanics range, but when Boots Botanics was, like, all green packaging, like, in, like, the early 2000s. Very strong recollections of my 13th birthday. I have no idea what is that smell, but I am so nostalgic for it. That's weird. So here is all our stuff together. So we've got all of our normal stuff. I like the fiery wall of protection stuff. That's quite useful. Not quite sure about what I would use the ink for, but maybe uh, the little piece of paper will tell us that in a second. Uh, um, always love a bit of incense. I like burning things, so this is definitely useful. And I like that it's just like a blend that I can use. I have actually used my wax melt since last time and that smelled amazing as well. So I'm liking these like extra little bits that aren't like the usual stuff that we get. This I think is really pretty. I love this kind of like vintage lacy looking stuff. Um, I actually have it on a wreath somewhere as well. I'm not sure about the whole dream catcher thing and how I feel about that um, as like a decorative thing because obviously there is a little bit of an issue of like cultural appropriation there but um i feel like i i, I kind of like this one just because it reminds me again like this weird smell uh, of like being younger but at the same time i don't really get the connection between that and witchcraft and stuff because if it has like a spiritual use and stuff or even if it's just a fashion item it, it's still like a, a native american thing that isn't necessarily something that i know about or appreciate so I would question whether that's something that really belongs in a box to be just disseminated in general to predominantly people in the UK, I guess. Um, let's have a look at what all these things are for. So we have the Aura Spray helps create a positive space for sleeping and dreaming. The Fire of Love Powder for use in love and passion spells, of which I don't do, so... That's probably going somewhere else. Uh, Sweet Dreams Ink, using sleep and positive dream spells. Obviously, summer solstice oil for the summer solstice. Fiery wall of protection is for protection. I like the um, the floor wash is like using a well ventilated area in capital letters. I wonder what's in it. Uh, not sure. Uh, then we have the. Be Brave Mixture, which is for Courage, Confidence and Be Brave spells. There's the key ring. Again, I quite like that these things are like reasonably priced. Like the key ring is $3.99. The Hanging Dream Catcher is $3.99. The, ca the candle is 50 pence. Like, yeah, it is. I like the, the kind of honesty in pricing. So that's everything we got. And also, as always, there's like the, the, the link here for going to the instructions and they have the new link for the new Facebook group because when I went to the old one it like didn't work anymore so obviously that has changed so where do I put this box um I think this is a quite a good one it's not the best one that I've had from them I really really liked the good luck one I really liked my wax burner thing where is my wax burner thing ah here it is by my pepsi uh, so obviously I've used, I've actually burnt this like three, three or four times and it still smells uh, with my little tea lights in there. This is still really cute. I have no idea how to clean it. If you have recommendations, let me know. But I really like that. And I've used that a lot. Um, whereas these things feel kind of, like I would feel kind of awkward using these just because it's it's not really one it's not really my thing and two it kind of feels like i would be like stealing from someone else's culture that i don't really know a lot about so kind of feel a bit iffy about those things i do like the the bonfire mix i like some of this stuff but the uh, solstice oil and solstice incense probably not that useful for me because i don't necessarily do that but i am very glad that the whole box isn't solstice themed i feel like if it had been i would have been a little bit peeved but i do like that when they have a theme they kind of work around that theme and expand it out so it's not just about uh the solstice it's also about like sun fire heat and so we've got fiery wall of protection we've got bonfire stuff because there's going to be like bonfires for the solstice love 
they kind of work around that theme. So I think you're always bound to get a couple of bits that you can actually use and will enjoy using. So once again, this remains like even like the worst box that I've had of this, like the box that I didn't really have anything in it that I, I enjoyed, which I think was maybe the love box. Maybe that was my least favourite one so far. Um, even that is like head and shoulders above some of the other bad boxes I've gotten from other boxes. So even a bad box of this box is better than like a good box of something else. I feel like you always get a huge amount of stuff. You always have lots of fun opening it. I'm going to eat this chocolate dippy thing in a minute. It's going to be great. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit weirded out by this stuff and its inclusion, but on the whole, very enjoyable box. And I cannot tell you how much I hope that I don't get next month's box. Not because I hate the company, but because it is just the ongoing saga of Vanda having PayPal issues and then me also having issues with maybe not reminding Vanda to cancel it when I probably should have. Um, so hopefully we won't get the next month's box, but I am going to try and get hold of um, the Witch's Heart box and maybe also a loot, uh, fairy loot box because there's another one coming up which is related to the Serpent and Dove book, which I reviewed previously. So I thought that might be a good one to look at. And in the meantime... I will see you in the next episode.